Yes, welcome to my channel being you now thank you so much for being with me here today today i am doing your daily reading so this is for aries sun moon rising and venus so if you have aries placements this reading is for you if this reading doesn't resonate head over to the videos tab there might be another reading that is more suitable for your individual circumstance now i do do aries readings daily i also do one minute reads which is in the short section of my channel and there's always something fun and fabulous happening in the communities tab so come say good day and guess what aries i am doing wowza sun Knight of Pentacles. So at the split. So I am doing your good stuff reading. Let me know in comments if you like good stuff readings. I just realized I haven't in, you know, in the like, I, there's so many different reads for you, to be honest. I sometimes can't even remember. I forget which ones I haven't done. And I just realized I haven't done a Aries good stuff reading in months, actually. So I might have done it maybe back in January or something and I haven't done it since. So let me know in comments if you enjoy good stuff reading. So no matter what comes out, it's all good stuff, baby. Good stuff. Happy birthday to all my Aries that are celebrating. Let me know in comments if you are celebrating your birthday. Happy birthday. I am celebrating with you. So good stuff coming towards my Aries. The sun card really made me all happy. So I will be pulling... Um, cards from the romance deck abundance deck and also money 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 and I know how much my Aries loves that so stay till the end so we've got quite a few cards let's see let's see what have we got let's see what have we got so I'm going to go as they have arrived in the read it's almost like this one needs to be like that okay anyway leave it with me leave it with me okay so the first card that came out these all came out by itself so exciting new challenge five of wands this is in the good stuff five of wands often people see it as arguments disagreements but in the good stuff this is an exciting new challenge so this could be some giving you an example would be say you start a job you're doing a job where there are things that you already know and very good at, but then there are things that you are learning for the first time or there are things that you're not really familiar with. Say you take a job in an industry, you're a salesperson, you know how to sell all these things. However, you now took a job in an industry that you're not familiar with. So that's an exciting new challenge. You know sales, you know how to sell all these things, but now the whole thing about learning this new industry, new products, all this stuff, that's exciting. That's what this is in the good stuff. Okay. What else have we got? Ooh, three of pentacles. Definitely something to do with collaboration and working with people. I'm also getting a strong message that in the good stuff, this is you. If you are looking to hire help or working with other people, take this as your confirmation. Three of pentacles is all about working with other people. It's about collaboration. It's about, um, you know, this is the when I see the three of pentacles, I, I look at it this way. Like, look, he's standing on there. These two, they all have their different tools. He's got um, like a not really a hammer, but he's got he's he's it's almost like looks like a bulb. Right. And she has the instructions and he is also giving her he's not holding anything else, but he's consulting. Right. So it's almost like you building your business, you building your passion. You, you know, you may be very good at your craft. But you may need help with marketing. You may need help with someone building your website. You may need help with, um, I don't know, how to set up a booking system or something. Or you may need help with an, from an accountant. Well, you know, I've got this passion, but how do I set it up and all these other things? Or from a legal person. That's this vibe of Three of Pentacles. The, the faster and quicker you work with these people, the faster and quicker you can start building your pentacles from Three of Pentacles to Ten of Pentacles. That's how it rolls. So that's in the good stuff. So ask for help and be open to receiving help. No point just asking for help and then not receiving it. So it goes both ways. That's what this three of pentacles is in the good stuff. The star wish fulfillment. Yes, Aries. Yes, 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 yes. Your time is now. Good stuff. Claim it. Major wish fulfillment. What is your wish that you are desiring? What is that dream, that hope that you want to come to fruition? For somebody here, very very few people handful is what's coming up this could also be your rise to fame 
So say, for example, you do something on social media or you might be, I don't know, on TikTok or something. Your rise to fame is with the star card in the good stuff. That's what it is. Aquarius energy and um, being in the spotlight. So if you're in a spotlight, um, you know, maybe you have your own channel or maybe you are, you know, you have a big following on Instagram or TikTok or something like that. And with the star card, that's you rising to fame. But that's like star quality, stardom. That's the word I'm getting, stardom. So claim that if that's what you're desiring and that's what you're working towards. I mean, each person's journey is different, you know. With the star card as well, it doesn't always mean, I mean, look at the body language. She's looking down. It can also be like, say, for example, if you are doing something where pe people know of you, like, you know, maybe like me, where people... Hear, a voice, voice, or hear my voice connect with me, but they haven't met me. So it doesn't mean that, you know, it doesn't always have to be, you have to be that loud and out there. It can also mean that your work gets recognition through through just the way it is. You know, it's not always about being visible, like as in show your face type visible visibility. It's about recognition of the quality of the work. That's all that to say the quality of the work. That's what with these two cards particularly, it's the quality of the work. There is something that makes you stand out, which is why even if there is a comp if, even if there is any competition, it's literally no competition. Does that make sense? So because of the way you do things, basically you just blow everything else out of the water because there is literally no competition with these three cards. Okay, that's pretty cool. I like that a lot like it like it the hierophant congratulations am i getting a wedding invite this is a card of wedding <laughs> in the good stuff this is wedding engagement moving in together um that's that's the vibe and some for some of you i'm getting one percent of you this is also confirmation about your spiritual path so in the good stuff, if you've been wanting to further your spiritual journey, your path, they take this as your confirmation. Spirit is guiding and helping you. Hierophant is a very, very spiritual card in the deck. So if that's something that you have been desiring, and it's interesting, or not so interesting, with these two cards as well, some of you might be sharing your gifts with other people which will be very healing and which will also be a wish fulfillment for you but it will be very healing and nurturing for other people so there's some healers energy workers light workers is what i'm getting let me know in comments this is in the good stuff really good really really good i'm loving this rate trying to remember why i wasn't doing it more often so with the seven of wands, this is you connecting. I mean, right next to the Hierophant card, to me, this is you connecting with your higher self. So take this as your confirmation. In the good stuff, this seven of wands is all about looking at things from a higher perspective, not, you know, separating yourself from the situation and doing what's for the highest and best for everyone involved. Really, really good. Love it. Love it. Eight of cups in the good stuff to me is you are standing up for what you believe in you're not you know you you've come to a place and recognition of who you are you acknowledge who you are and you also acknowledge how you operate and all the things and this eight of cups is acknowledging that so in the good stuff that's you know you've already done the walking away but now it's almost like it's allowed you the walking away from people places situations that don't serve you you have seen things from a higher perspective and you, you you can see why it was the way it was. Also with the star card, there has been a lot of healing. So with these three cards right here, these three cards right here, whatever this situation was, you can see it from a higher perspective now. You know, you don't, you're not attached to the actual situation anymore. You know, when when you're going through something, you feel very close to it. But now it's almost like time has passed. You've learned the lessons. You've integrated. You've risen. You've healed. So that's what I'm picking up here for you. Okie dokie. Let's see. What, have, what else we've got? We've got this card. The Queen of Cups. Love this in good stuff. This is to me saying you're focusing on your own healing. 
connecting deeply within yourself, understanding your emotions, honoring your emotions in the good stuff. For some of you, this is also love card. So, you know, for, for somebody here with these three cards, your wish fulfillment could be you want to fall in love. The Queen of Cups is very nurturing energy, very, um, you know, open-hearted energy. So you might be attracting love that will take to marriage, commitment, long-term commitment, engagement with these cards. And that could be a major wish fulfillment. Claim this in comments if this is what you're desiring. For others of you with these same cards, this is you, if you're not looking for love, this is you connecting deeply emotionally to your spiritual path and growth and journey. And as a result of you healing and working on yourself, you have now opened yourself and your spiritual path. So very beautiful. Whichever way is your story, collective read, not a one-to-one -one read. If you desire a personal read, I'm offering something epic for every season. A 12 card exclusive spread that's just available for Aries season. So only a few more days, two more days, I think it is, before this reading disappears forever for good. This reading is a game changer. I, I, it, it would take forever to explain it. These 12 cards is, it will give you a forecast for the next 12 months. Everyone that has had it, it's so led, it's so, there's so much information you get on all areas of your life. It's a total game changer. I don't know about you, for my birthday, I like to get readings done. Every every year, at least for my birthday, I get readings done multiple times a year. But if that's you, you want to know, get guidance on your next 12 months and get a gu get guidance on like different areas of your life, this is a total game-changing read. First link in the description box. Okay. Time to take the leap of faith, Aries energy. So Aries, where are you taking this leap? What is it that you are starting and embarking on? I've, I'm picking up travel. I'm picking up a new job for somebody. Definitely getting the travel vibes. Normally that's not the full card, but I am picking it up. So I'm going to share that. Love the full energy. I feel like for somebody here who has been through whatever, you know, maybe you walked away from a marriage or someone walked away from you. So that's also possible. Now you're embarking on a new journey to to new love because you've healed. I mean, look at all these majors that have popped up with the Fool, the Hierophant, and the Star card. Look at all these good stuff coming towards you, Aries. This reading spirit has said to me is good for the next three weeks. Three to four weeks is the time frame, in case you're wondering. Okie doke. Wow. In the good stuff, I see this as rebirth. I mean, funny, not so funny at all. These two cards are right next to each other. So you've had to have that to take the leap of faith. So major rebirth and transformation, Aries. That's what this is saying to me. Because you've healed and transformed. I mean, look at these cards that you have. Now you're ready to embark on a brand new journey. That is what's coming towards you. You have transformed, you've changed. And as a result of that, spirit is giving you new life, new leads, new space, new ways of thinking, open heart. Look at that, open heart, beautiful. Because you've done the work, you've done the inner work, you've done the healing work. And for somebody here, this could have been to do with um, a relationship or a marriage with these cards. That's possible. This, this could be a relationship or a marriage. Could be with a Taurus, could be Aquarius, could be another Aries. You take what resonates. Scorpio is possible as well. And your final card. No more waiting, no more feeling stuck. I love, love, love the hangman in reverse. <laughs> Who doesn't? Aries doesn't like waiting anyway, right? So the hangman in reverse to me, this is all about enlightenment. You have a lot of cards to do with spirituality. So if that is something that you're desiring, particularly with these cards, this is you looking at things from a different perspective, a higher perspective. And because you do, you have grown, evolved and um in your spiritual journey as well as as being a person 
which has now opened up a whole new raft of ideas and inspiration to you. This is beautiful. Love, love, love. Okay, so let's grab you some abundance messages. Let me know in comments if you enjoy the good stuff read. Um, I haven't done it for quite a few months and I, I don't know how I forgot about good stuff. And I was like, yeah, airy season. We got to have some good stuff, right? We're still in airy season. Letting go. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. We don't make it up. We never do. Everything is indeed out of control and God will hold it all. I can safely let go. Your affirmation is I can safely let go. Yes, you can. Yes, 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 you can. Deepening. Love this. Like This is like double, triple confirmation. And it's the black cat giving me the um, Queen of Wands vibe as well. Once you're on earth for enough lifetimes, your old soul will begin to long for non-grasping detachment and surrender. They bring the peace of God. Oh, so beautiful. Peace of God. Yes, peace. Claiming peace. So blissful, isn't it? Receiving. Yes. Every day is becoming easier and easier to receive the highest divine plan. And I trust my inner guidance. So your affirmation is, I trust my inner guidance. Okay, let's get you some love messages. Love messages for my Aries. Good stuff. Ooh. Good stuff, love messages for my beautiful, gorgeous, glorious Aries. And happy birthday if it's your birthday. What are you doing to celebrate? Let me know. I am in all birthday vibes still. Unrequited love. I mean, watch the raid. It's all over the raid. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. You know what um, I got when I saw that card? A vision of someone like it's almost like you know you in a relationship one person grows evolves does the work the other person is still how you met them and but one person grows evolves doing the inner work doing the healing work and all the things and it's almost like you drift apart that's the vision i'm getting anyway very specific love yourself first amen and hallelujah yes 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 you can't pour from an empty cup we all know that your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Yes. Yes to self-respect. The highest form of respect is self-respect. Always. Free yourself, Aries. Free yourself. There you have it. It's time to take back control of your life. It's time to have control of your life and be free like the fool. Love it. Love it. I love the fool. Whenever I see the fool, I, I get so excited because to me that's new excitement. And of course, Aries energy. I'm always up for Aries energy, right? We all are. Look at how many money cards. Like, there's like six cards, six money cards that want to come out in the good stuff. So let's see. We've got one, two, three. Okay. I think there's another one that wants to come. Have to hustle. So in the good in the good stuff, that would mean like no more hustling. No more hustling. No more hustling. So it says, no, but you must take action toward your goals each day. I make my dreams real. Yes. I make my dreams real. Yes, 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 yes. Have to suffer. No more suffering. Nope. Nope. No, no. Nope. You don't have to struggle. Don't suffer. Celebrate. Money comes easily to me. Ooh, I like that. For those of you desiring one of money sessions, just hashtag money in comments. I would love to connect with you. And for those that want to do deep money work, deep healing money work and change your money story in the direction that you want it to be, then email me. 
You don't have to struggle. Don't suffer. Celebrate. Money comes easily to me. Money comes easily to me. Amen. Money comes easily to me. Fight to survive. So no more fighting. You, you know, all your needs are met with ease and grace. That's what I'm picking up here. Don't settle for scraps. Believe you deserve more. Absolutely, Aries, you deserve more. I create a prosperous life. Amen. I create a prosperous life. You absolutely do. You absolutely do. Aries, only a handful, couple of days left to book your epic, amazing 12 card personal read, which is only available during Aries season. Then it's going to disappear for good. I will not be offering that. This bespoke reading is a total game changer. If you want guidance, clarity on the next 12 months on all areas of your life this is a total game changing spread i've never ever ever done this on my channel or shared it i only do it for my personal clients but even that is at the very highest level but for aries season i wanted to do something special because hello i'm in aries so that is the first link in the description box for those of you who want to have a chat a tarot chat a live tarot chat with me that link is in the description box. I'm offering something fun and fabulous because why not? We're in Aries season. We get to have all the fun. And also, I'm just really enjoying and loving connecting with each and every one of you. Final thing. Thank you to everyone that has been donating to my channel. I so, so appreciate you. It is truly... I cannot tell you. Like I'm, I'm short of words. For everyone that has been sending me super thanks, super chats donations via paypal it means so much to me to know that my work you're supporting me my work and my channel it just encourages and motivates me to show up even more come back stronger bolder and more with more energy and more tools and resources for the collective truly there is it's it just there is something when you know that your work is being appreciated and um yeah it's it's hard to stay positive motivated and show up daily for daily Aries reads it is I'm not going to sugarcoat it you know so I appreciate you thank you thank you thank you thank you and Aries remember the power that is you by being you now and I will see you next time